Oh, hello! It's Rachel Fountain here of Wonders Keepers Crafts. I am in beautiful, beautiful Orkney. Um, and uh, yeah, just having a little bimble around, having a look at some of our heritage. Um, wondering where all the seafood is uh, in these strange times that we're in. Uh, was expecting not to be able to take full advantage of all the local businesses and all the wares and the crafts and things um, and the heritage and the museums which I love so much um, and the camera pubs um, are not open uh, still there's a lot of beauty to be found um, not a lot of seafood because uh, most of it goes away from Scotland um, met some folks who are running a rum distillery uh, they use local berries and things like that. They're all grown on polytunnels on the island. Um, I suggested, uh, what was it, the things that were growing in his, um, as a weeds in his flower pot out the front there, it was the yarrow, which tastes like aniseed. Um, there's Alexander's growing, um, pineapple weed. Um, just seen some penny wort growing by the coast here. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, there's bits and pieces here eating some clover, really tall clover growing. Um, there's a lot of RSPB reserves and nature reserves here um, around the stones as you can imagine. Um, but uh, yeah, unfortunately I'm not seeing locals. I don't really know if it's something that they use as standard. Um, I know in my little world what my normal is, is to be using all these things. So um, I certainly wouldn't project my normal onto anyone else's. Um, but I just wanted to share this incredible sky. I don't know if you can see it, but it's 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 um it's yellows and blues. It's like it's like someone's lighting uh, the clouds from the inside. And I've noticed with a few names of the whiskies and things here, they've got um, Highland Park is uh, the highest distillery in Britain, I believe. Um, which is here and they have uh, whiskies and there's other things which all nod towards this quality of light that you kind of get in St Ives is well known for in Cornwall uh, lots of painters and whatnot um, take advantage of that um, certainly this place does remind me a lot of Iceland you point the camera anywhere and it's very National Geographic it's a lot of farmers here there's a lot of dairy um, or uh, cattle at least I um, saw myself a little stoat, apparently those are quite new to the island, um, I think the hedgehogs were brought into one of the, um, the Hebridean islands around here as well and they've called may mayhem for the um, uh, ground nesting birds because they'll eat eggs and things of course because hedgehogs are carnivores. Um, stoats have just come in recently and they are also causing havoc um, to Orkney at least. Um, but yeah, being really blessed. I mean, the bird watching here is, is fantastic. Um, it's really very different day uh, from yesterday. Glorious sunshine. It was only like 10 degrees, but it was it was bare leg country, you know. Today, as you can see, I am wrapped up good and proper. Woolly hat is on, um, and it's a uh, bitterly, bitterly cold um, over there. Norway. This part of Scotland uh, was a uh, part of Norway for a long time. Um, I believe it was uh, pawned off uh, the King of Norway to uh, one of King James's, I forget, um, for dowry for his daughter and uh, that wasn't paid and so the Scots came in, who came after the Picts remember, uh, and uh, there was a reign of land grab and all sorts of things going on here. So um, Orkney's got some really interesting, very unique history in the British Isles. Um, not just um, a Scottish thing, it goes beyond that, it's actually ruled by um, Udell Law, I hope I've said that right. Um, so there's all sorts of um, uh, customs and understandings about common law and stuff like that, which is very different to what I know as being an English woman, uh, but mixed mongrel that I am, as we all are, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, so it's a, this Orkney is fascinating. It's fab. Um, I've met many interesting people. Um, the 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 accent. The, the native accent is a little Welsh, a little Welsh. A few folks have said that. It's like there's a soft roll of the R's. Um, lots of things I didn't know, so I'm really glad I came up here. Uh, I hope you're all well. 
Hope you're enjoying my little uh, jolly about. Um, I'm going to keep foraging. There's some bits and pieces to be found. Um, lots of cool dead stuff, no doubt. Um, anyway, take care and adieu.